Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWG Research, behind the camera. Hello. So, I wanted to share something with you in case you run into a similar problem or you just need a solution. So, on this airplane, um, right there you can see we have a pitot tube that's been covered up. So this has an airspeed sensor. Uh, the airspeed sensor we're currently using is an MS4520DO. Okay, that's the airspeed sensor. Now, that airspeed sensor is embedded in the end of that wing way out there, and we have cables running to the front here. I will show you the connector just so when I reference it, you can see what I'm talking about. We have a connector right there that connects the lights, the servo, and the airspeed sensor. So the airspeed sensor is I2C data, okay? In this airplane we have right here, which is a full autonomous airplane, including a ground sensor. It's a Terra Ranger, three meter, in case you want to know. Evo 3 meter. Okay, anyway, sorry, back to this. So, airspeed sensor. I had it hooked up to the I2C network on this flight controller. It just didn't seem to work. When I hook up the rangefinder and the GPS, they work fine. No problem. As soon as I hooked up the airspeed sensor, problems. No idea what's going on. Got the good scope out, figured out what was going on, couldn't really find anything. I actually ended up taking the resistors off of the GPS. I have another one here. Took the resistors off the GPS right there. Those two, four pads right there, they're missing. Those are the pull-up resistors on the data lines. I thought maybe that had something to do with it. However, that didn't seem to help. So I decided there's gotta be a better way around this problem. So my solution was really simple. I'm using this guy, all right? This guy is an MCP4725. That little chip right there actually takes an I2C data and converts it into analog. So zero, zero, and max is whatever the max rail is on here. So it's full swing. Uh, I'm running this on five volts, so I got a five volt output. Well, because I only care about the airspeed sensor because it's the thing that breaks my, my uh, I2C bus, I decided we have an analog option on our flight controller. This is, woo, hello, this is a Speedy B. F405 wing, and apparently my autofocus is broke. So this is an F405 wing, all right, and it has the capability of doing both the I2C, all right, that's for the airspeed sensor, that's where we had it, well, it was in the, in the line somewhere. We actually had it connected to this one, it's the same thing. But there is an analog pin. Ooh, the camera is whacked out. I have no idea why, sorry. The camera, airspeed sensor. The airspeed sensor just didn't like being on the network. It screwed everything up. It actually worked perfectly fine. However, the compass quit sending data or couldn't read it or something. Even though I checked the data using a picoscope, which is used to sit here, and I, it, it didn't work. So a simple solution. What is the solution? Well, I wrote some code and it uses the libraries. It uses this library and this library from DF Robot. Um, that one is from Brian R. Taylor, and I downloaded those two, got them installed, and then wrote some simple code to take one bit of data in, convert it, and spit it back out. So I won't go through the code in great detail, but we have our instances, we have our starting output voltage. Um, I commented out some stuff here. You do need to set the correct address, so for address zero, which is what we're currently using, um, we do have this little solder blob right there. All right, that is connected so that we get the right address on this device. You will need to do that. Um, and then also, as a note, on the back side of this board, which I can't pull off because I stuck it on here, there's a place for cutting um, to remove the uh, pull-up resistors. You have to cut those traces. Otherwise, it got garbage data. No idea what was going on there. Um, but it works without the them on there. So we set that up. Um, we set the clock up to 400 kilohertz. That's what we're running at. We set the proper um, pressure uh, transducer uh, address. Okay. And then real simple. We read the pressure, and then we take um, the pressure. And I've doing I've done some scaling here. You can read that if you wish. But this code will be in the description. I'll post it somewhere. Um, so absolute, because sometimes it's a negative number, so we want to take the absolute pressure, we're going to multiply it by 5, and we're going to subtract um, some offset. So the offset's actually 
I believe, uh, um, what is it, F half a volt at this point, and we subtracted 250, so we get 250. Um, so we're just scaling this thing out, and this scales out perfectly to be about 27.5 millivolt per mile an hour. And that gives us about 130 something miles an hour before basically we run out of voltage on the AIN, the analog to digital converter. Okay, um, now my sensor here on this board does 6.6 .6 volts. If yours doesn't, then you'll need to power it with less voltage and then scale this differently. Um, you can set the maximum reference voltage here, which is good, then it won't go past the maximum according to our next bit of logic. So this is real simple. We take the voltage, check if it's past our 5 volt, and then force it to be the, the maximum. Um, that way, if it does go over or whatever, it doesn't just turn off or whatever. Same thing here, if it goes below 50, we just set it to 50. And then we just write to the DAC. That's it. Um, if you want to do serial debug stuff, you can turn on all my... I forced them all out, I uncommented them all. Um, this was just quick and dirty, and it works like a charm. So I wanted to share this with the community in case somebody wanted to take and use an analog airspeed sensor but maybe couldn't find one or had a need for a similar solution. Um, if you want to know more about this plane there will be lots of videos coming out. The whole goal behind this plane to get people interested if you want to know who normally watch my channel. We want to autonomously take off, fly a pattern and land this airplane repetitively and make it able to do that. Now this is a weird airplane to do that because it is a symmetric wing and the thing really like really 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 has to fly pretty fast uh, to be stable. Um, it starts stalling at about 11 meters a second which isn't necessarily super slow. So we had kind of high speed landings on some of this. Anyway, it's not crazy but it is a, uh, yeah. This is a 30 year old plane. Gets a cover on the top. It's hiding somewhere. I don't even know where it is. Um, but it, oh yeah, children, don't worry about that. So anyway, before the children go kill themselves trying to punch each other in the face, I'm gonna go take care of that. God bless, have a good day. If you wanna know more, leave a comment. I'll try to describe more, but there will be a full section of videos coming out on the adventure of trying to get this to work, take off and land autonomously. Peace out, God bless, have a good day, bye-bye.